on the news when it comes to a dog attack, um, they never say dog attack. They always say pit bull attack. No matter if you agree with a need for breed-specific legislation or not, there's a big flaw with how it's enforced. The current system relies on visual identification and DNA testing. The problem with these methods is that they aren't always accurate and can lead to misidentification. Visual identification is literally a joke. The problem is that the laws are written to allow visual identification uh, to take your dog. And your only hope is that that particular animal control officer or that particular police officer either doesn't know what an American pit bull terrier looks like and so doesn't have anything to compare to, or has a decent image in his head that's not going to match your dog. And if those things don't work for you, your dog's gone. And it doesn't matter what your dog actually is. While DNA testing is an alternative, a variety of factors make it difficult to give accurate results. If they test a purebred dog, they have an 85% chance of being correct which means one out of every seven dogs yeah. is identified incorrectly. And that's if it's a purebred, a, a registered purebred with a kennel club where you know who the parents are, you know who the grandparents are, you know who the great-grandparents are. And there is no doubt in anybody's mind that that is a golden retriever because its parents were and its great-grandparents were. If you match a purebred, let's say a purebred golden with a purebred lab, so two purebred dogs of different breeds, they get approximately the same uh, success rate. So because it's so clear, it's exactly half and half, um, they're still able to do that. As soon as you get past two breeds, uh, two purebreds mixed together, they don't have anything to match it against. They don't know what their control group is. Um, they, uh, they don't have any mixed breeds that are identifiable with paperwork. To learn more about pit bulls and breed identification, visit Huggable.com.